One, two, one, two. One, two. So that's the one, USB audio codec. Huh? No, the USB, it's the USB one. One, two. Oh, one, two. One, two. There we go, mic check. Yeah? Elite Academy Basketball League semi-final fixture between Charmwood Riders and Barking Abbey Academy. Score 5.53, remaining in the first quarter, 15-6 the score. Live here at Charmwood College. Welcome to the Elite Academy Basketball League semi-final between Charmwood College Riders and Barking Abbey. Both teams have got this game underway. Slight delay due to referee appointment situations. And now at this moment in time, we're just fixing the basket padding right now. There's already been a couple of big jams. One coming from Charmwood and EABL leading scorer Edward Onya. And Caden Ross coming up with a poster jam as well in this one. The score stands at 15 to 6 so far in this game. It's been highly entertaining. Oh no, we've had the chance to stream it. It was live on my Instagram very briefly. But we're ready to get the action back underway. I understand that the Wi-Fi quality is tentative. So I will keep you up to date if I can in radio style commentary until our stream becomes a little bit more efficient throughout this game. So Barkin Abbey possession to get the final five minutes and 53 remaining here in the first quarter underway. Big man number 14, Obiora. He's inside and it's deflected away. Charman Riders come up with the steal. Now into the hands of the point guard, Oscar Curran. Moving to the left-hand side of the floor up top. Moving the ball now on the right-hand side into the hands of Caden Ross. Gets two feet in the paint, looks baseline to Curran, kick it to the corner, three ball from Hansen. It's no good. He gets his own boards and going up again for two. This time is Lewis Malcolm extending the lead to 17 to six. As Barkin Abbey now come on the attack. King Danchi, left hand side of the floor, skip pass across. An out of bounds violation called. As Godwin steps out of play. Is Hansen. Now with Anya. Looking to the corner again. Curran for three. Rolls in and out. Rebounded by Obiora. Godwin. Ball rotation. Jab and drive all the way to the rim. Is no good. For Melki Egbiemi. Onia skips across opposite Hyde. Hansen wide open, triple. He's knocked it down. 20 to 6 the score. And the timeout is called. Four minutes and 15 seconds was on the, the game clock there. Some clocks. Some clock has run down a little after the whistle. Rhythm in here. Really tough lineup. For the Charmwood College Riders, not allowing any easy penetration.
And don't forget there's more action tomorrow coming up in the Elite Academy Basketball League. Cola will take on Mayasco tomorrow. And after these two fixtures, we'll find out who will be headed to Manchester. Who will be lifting the trophy this year in the EABL Finals. I'll be there. The dream team in full effect. DJ Waite also in the house. Taking you through the CBL, EABL and WEABL and WEABL Finals. Ready to get the game back underway coming out of the timeout. And Barking Abbey need to do a lot better here defensively. But also offensively have some confidence. And put the pressure on this Charmwood team. It's an end line possession here for Barking Abbey with Mackay Hendry getting the ball into play. Egbayemi. Conway, three, falls. First triple of the game for Barkin Abbey. Curran, top of the three-point line. As ball rotates on your outside, he knocks down another triple for Charmwood College. They are on fire from behind the arc. The 2-1-2 zone with the number 14. Obiora rising high to almost create a 3-2. It's leaving spaces in the corner for Charmwood to be able to knock down those triples. He is Godwin now. Conway again. Stepping back outside to the baseline. Intercepted by Curran. He's 1-1. One one. He's going all the way. Oscar Curran's drawn the foul and it's an on-one play. Melchi Egbeyeme will be called for his first personal, I believe. And one shot to come now for Oscar Curran. Substitution checking in for both teams. Number 22, Stanley Morris checking into the game. As Lewis Malcolm heads to the bench and substitution also for Barking Abbey. Will Stapleton steps onto the floor. Ball rotation now for Barkin Abbey. As Charwood are in the lead 25 to nine with three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Bas to basket here with Stapleton. His own rebound is getting rejected. And now Charm would come up with the defensive glass, Edward Onya. Curran. Turnover now from Stanley Morris. Egbiyemi moves the ball into the hands of Stapleton. Apologies, it's not Stapleton that's checked to the game. It's actually the number six, Kirby Mabaya. Uh, end line ball now for the Charmwood College Riders. Checking into the game is number four, Thomas Johnston. Nathaniel Hansen heads to the bench. Full court pressure. Evaded swiftly. Gleason now moving to Kai Hendry. Bit of a holding foul on the rebound play. Johnston. Onya. Gleason back into the hands of Curran. Has to shoot under pressure, three ball goes up and there was contact on it. Referee doesn't call it, Mabaya pushing up the floor. King Danchi. Looking baseline, three in the corner. And a fight for the rebound, it comes up into the hands of Hendry. And stolen away by Charnwood, Gleason. Curran back into the hands of Onya. Goes between the legs now, trying to find room. But great hands there from the number 15, Amali Wilkinson. And substitution checking in for the Charwood. Replacing Onya, who heads to the bench. Ball in. 
Morris goes strong, the ball rolls around the rim and out. Barkin Abbey running the floor, looking to the corner, deflected. Out of bounds on the baseline. Referees need to come to a decision here. What happened? And they're under the impression that it's a Charmwood ball and the head coach, James Veer, is saying no, it's a... Uh, or assistant coach James Veer is saying actually no, it's uh, a barking ball and it has come in their favour. End line possession here. Wilkinson to inbound. Curling off the screen on the baseline. Three ball goes up. Foul is called. Three shots to come for Makai Hendry. Free throws missed there for Hendry. Makes the second. Three free throws, of course, foul from behind the arc. And gets the second to fall as well. Full court pressure once again here from Barkin Abbey. Current sends his teammates away. He goes one on one with Hendry and gets it over. Comfortably, Johnston. And the crossover, Johnston going to the spin, trying to find the next pass. Does find Curran. Clock is winding down here. There's 35 seconds on it, but Curran shoots the three. Johnston on the ball here. Steps inside, floats it up for two. Five for the rebound. Barkin Abbey possession. 21.1. And Alex is going to confirm here. Alex, Cal Alex Callender correcting the call. End line possession for Charmwood. His Gleason. Gleason one on one with King Danchi. Put him on the floor there, Danchi. Hendry, bounce pass, driving Wilkinson, beautiful finish at the rim. Three seconds on the clock, two seconds, there's one, and that's rejected out of here, the half-court shot. But the final score at the end of the first quarter is 25-13. to 13. A much better finish to the half for Barkin Abbey as they put double digits on the board. But early on in this one, Charmwood College Riders, they were in full flow, lighting it up from behind the arc. Really tough ball game for them so far. Barkin Abbey really struggling to score the ball, having to work hard to find their open opportunities to put points on the board. And Charmwood slowing up now offensively. But chance for both of these teams to capitalise in the second quarter. Barkin Abbey really need a big scoring quarter to try and put themselves into a good position going into the half. One and done. Winner goes through to the final. The loser. Goes home. Live Elite Academy Basketball League action. As the teams step back onto the court. Digits. For Oscar Curran, he's got 10 points per in that first quarter for Barkin Abbey. Mazaya King Danchi. Up and coming stars in British basketball. King Danchi, oh my goodness. Goes to the. As he makes the first. Gleason trying to shake off the defender. And Yemi right on his hip. Inside, beautiful pass, but no end result. King Dan, oh, good for him. Rebound under the rim for Caden Ross. He's pushing the ball forward. Gleason on the left hand side, handed it off to Ross. Ross finishing with a finger roll under pressure against Wilkinson. 
And a turnover now for Barkin Habi immediately. And substitution checking in as Wilkinson heads to the bench. Checking in is number 12, Ethan Conway. Chalmer get the ball over the half with Nathaniel Hansen in possession. Caden Ross sneaking along the baseline, tries to reach her. It slips through his hands. Conway picks it up down the right-hand side of the floor, in between the legs, up top with King Danchi. Five out spacing, one in the block with Barkin Abbey. Here's Conway now attacking from the right-hand 45 in the corner. Three ball, no good from Mabaya. And now Chalmer would have possession again. Hansen, left-hand side. One on one with Hendry. Right hand side, 45. Masaitis tries to switch from his left to his right hand and draws the contact from Mabaya, I believe. Yes, it will be his foul, blocking foul. Two shots to come now as Masaitis will head to the free throw line. 27 to 15, the score. 8.39 remaining here in the second. Second is missed and a rebound for Onya. And we'll check the clock here. With the shot clock. Ensuring it's the right one. End line possession now for the Charmwood College Riders. Calling for what seems the triangle offense. A screen goes to set Caden Ross open on the left-hand baseline, spins to the bucket, finger roll, rolls off the rim. Anya comes up with the boards into trouble. King Danchi rips it away, and a big foul there against Nathaniel Hansen. As King Danchi hits the deck, left-hand side halfway. Checking into the game, it's back in. Number 14, Lewis. Obiora. As ball is back into play. Skipped across into the right hand corner now with Barkin Abbey attacking the baseline is Hendry. To the opposite corner, three ball goes up. Obiraya tries to steal it with the tip. A fight for the rebound here. Hansen stuck on the floor. Charmer that possession. They've got to get it over. And they don't. Instead, they pass it to the commentator. And it's a sideline ball for Barkin Abbey. It's a scrappy ball game at this moment in time. Egbeyemi gets it into Conway. The handoff now. Left hand side. One on one with Gleason's going to go downhill. Looks to the corner. And in fact, just turns the ball over immediately. Had a choice there whether to go to the kick or kick to the corner. Hansen was standing strong, and it was a little too late for Egbe Yemi to realize what happened there and ended up. Just a perspiration situation. Just making sure the floor is clean. Ball back into play. Hansen, right hand side of the half court. He's caught in trouble here now. Egbe Yemi's caught him up, he ripped it away. Tough defense from Egbe Yemi. He's got two defenders, skips away. Great defense from Barkin Abbey. Hansen crumbled under the pressure. Egbe Yemi, top of the three, hands it off to King Danchi, same position. Offensive foul is called here on the number 14, Mazaya. King Danchi is coming off the screen, and number 14, Lewis Obiora. Called for the illegal screen, and substitution as Oscar Curran checks 
Back into the game, Lewis Gleason to the bench. Curran. Same again. Egba Yemi applying pressure to the point guard. Not allowing the free flowing basketball to come for Charmwood as it did in the first. Here's Anya. One and one with Conway. Skips it out. Three ball now. It's no good. And a rebound. Left alone, so it becomes a barking Abbey. Ember 10, Harry Godwin will check in for Bark. Godwin on the left hand side. Up top with King Danchi. Immediate handoff. Obiora sets the screen. King Danchi's wide open for three. That's off the right hand side of the rim. Deflects off the hands of Onya. An end line possession. Egba Yemi has the ball on the baseline underneath the basket. Looks inside to King Danchi. Slips away from him. Godwin pulls up for the triple, and the triple is good for Barkin Abbey. They bring it back to a 10-point game, 28 to 18 the score. Curran in the corner, Ross steps out of bounds, and Barkin Abbey... King Danchi. Godwin. Egbeyemi uses the screen well. Godwin moves the ball to Conway, finds Godwin, trying to find a look here and he's fallen over. Charm would have come up with possession, Curran back with the ball. Anya, right hand side at the 45, kicks to the corner, gets it back, wide open three for Anya. And a rebound for Oscar Curran over the big man, Obiora. Curran again with another offensive board in Charmwood College. They reset their offense here. Hansen going all the way to the left, and that will be a goaltending violation. The bucket is good for two. Substitution checking in for Charmwell College, number seven, Julian Fernandez into the game. Now Barkin Abbey at half court here with Godwin. Conway, Godwin lines up another triple, and it's good again, Harry Godwin, two for two, another triple for him, closes the gap to nine, and Barkin Abbey need a stop here, they can't allow Charwood to keep scoring, and the pace that they have done here is Ross inside, the pump fake leads him to nothing, Anya, one on one with Conway, kicks it out, and Ross can keep it alive, a last ditch attempt to score the ball, to beat the shot clock, buzzer and he does just that, the number 14, Lewis Malcolm. Conway goes up for the immediate three, rebounded by Malcolm on the opposite side of the floor, beautiful bounce pass. Inside, Godwin, fouled, he goes strong to the left. <laughs> and then on the line is Harry Godwin. Turns the chip away once again at this Charmwood lead as he makes his first free throw. Godwin again, knocks down the second, 32 to 23. Much better second quarter here from Barkin Abbey. Curran, left hand side, calls for the head tap, Lewis Gleason. Iverson cut over to the left-hand side of the floor. Anya now one-on-one -on -one mismatch with Godin. Stepping inside, Lewis Malcolm, his shot is way off. Curran with another offensive board. Goes up strong underneath the bucket against the big man from Barkin Abbey. King Danchi downhill and Fernandez is on his hip. The foul is called. Sideline ball here. 
Oh, in fact, an end line ball for Barkin Abbey. Godwin. Up top now, Egbe Yemi. One on one with Oscar Curran. Hard hedge out with Onya. King Danchi, two feet in the paint. Find Mabaya, can't do it. And it stays as a deflection. Sideline ball for Charmwood. And a timeout call now by Charmwood College. 34 to 23 to score. There's three minutes and 39 seconds remaining in the half. Time being called back in here. With three minutes 39 on the clock, 34 23 to score. Charm with possession. Fernandez hands it off to Curran. Ball screen comes from Malcolm. Malcolm rolls. Curran goes downhill. Looks to the corner to Gleason. Comes over with the cut. Right hand. Mabaya boards. Under pressure here. Mabaya goes all the way. Far finish. Curran. Malcolm now high post. Curran. Kick into the corner to Anya for three. Another triple for Charmwood. And a timeout called now by Barkin Abbey. Two minutes 53 on the clock, 37 to 23 the score. 14 point lead for Charmwood in this one. Once again, apologies for the technical difficulties we've got at this moment in time. We'll try my best to keep you updated throughout this one. In the Academy Basketball League semi-final action. 37 to 23 the score, two minutes 53 remaining in the half. King Danchi, right hand side of the floor here for Barkin Abbey Conway. Pull up three, big time from on top of the three-point arc. Gleason now, one-on-one -on -one with Godwin. High post entry into Malcolm. Gleason comes back to receive it. Beautiful pass to find Malcolm. He comes off the glass for two. King Danchi getting the ball over halfway. Godwin, right-hand side of the floor, left-hand side with Wilkinson. Conway spinning towards the bucket, kicks it out. Godwin trying to go through three defenders. Strong move, but no good. Anya pushing forward here with Gleason. Anya gets it back. Danchi, big stand for Danchi, and that's a great stand from him. An offensive foul called. It. King Danchi earns the ball back for Barkin Abbey. And 
substitution now. Obiora into the game. One step. We'll find out who the winners are between Cola and Mayasco tomorrow. Find out who else will be in the finals for CBL and WABL action as well. Obiora hands it off. King Danchi. Oh, big rejection. Swatted away like a fly. Edward Onya. Give me that, King Danchi. Taking him off the throne. End line possession. Obiora. Conway. Nice hands there. Oscar Curran comes up with the steal. All alone. Hands it off. Anya goes up for a crazy poster. He misses the jam in the end, but Wilkinson was very, very lucky there. Could have been the poster of the year. Body to body, chest to chest. Wow. He got let off there, Wilkinson. That would have been dangerous. Anya's on the line of the blocking foul from Wilkinson. As he makes the first of those two. And he also misses the second. Rebound for Conway. Still 14 point game. Godwin. Wilkinson with an incredible save, but to no avail. As now Riders out and running. Anya hands it off to Malcolm. An easy floated right hand in for. Charm would extend the lead. One minute, 10 seconds on the clock. Conway three off the front of the iron. Anya. Close pass. Current. The ball has both players' hands on it. Possession arrow points in direction of the. Charmwood College ride is in a timeout called now by Charmwood College. 42 to 26 the score, 38.4 seconds remaining. Thirty-eight point four seconds remaining here in the second, or should I say, first half, second quarter. End line ball now. Oscar Curran ready to inbound. Let's see what Coach Will Maynard has drawn up here for the Charmwood College Riders. Ball goes into Anya underneath the basket. He's worked the offense. Pick the picker action. Anya rolls off. Thirty seconds remaining. Wilkinson spinning to his left, kicks it out. Conway for three, misses it. Offensive rebound, King Danchi doesn't fall for him. Now Riders out, running in transition. Gleason, they'll use the clock here, one offense. Malcolm 
Clock winding down, three seconds on it. Three ball goes up, off the glass, no good. And that's the end of the first half. 44 to 26 the score. Charlwood College are in the lead by 18 against Barking Abbey.